Hey, what's going on guys? Eddie Martinez here with The Recording Connection and welcome to your additional supplemental video for lesson number four, microphones. I want you to go ahead and grab a pen and paper so we can take plenty of notes and get started. Okay, so in our last video we covered plenty of details about different mics. So this video is just going to be a quick review and some more useful information. We're primarily going to be going over finding the right mic for the job and typical microphone setups. So I just want to let you know that understanding different pattern types will actually help you choose the right mic for the job. So let's go ahead and go over directional properties. So every microphone actually has a property known as directionality. This describes the microphone's sensitivity to sound from various directions. Some microphones actually pick up sound equally from all directions, while others only pick up sound from only one direction or a particular combination of directions. So here are the three main categories. Omnidirectional picks up sounds evenly from all directions. Unidirectional picks up sounds mostly in one direction. This includes cardioid and hypercardioid microphones as well. Bidirectional picks up sound from two opposite directions. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about using the right mic for the job. Let me go ahead and warn you guys though, this is only a starting point. It may not work in all situations. It's also not a bad idea to experiment with some of these ideas as well. For drums, you normally want to stick with cardiodynamic mics, but it also depends on what you're miking. A small cardio condenser mic on a hi-hat would actually work really nice. If you're miking overheads, a pair of large or small diaphragm condensers would actually work great for that. For the snare or toms, you could actually use condenser or dynamic mics. Miking drums actually requires a lot of experimentation. So as you set up your mics, have your drummer play moderately so that you can go ahead and adjust the mics as you guys go along. For recording electric guitars, you could actually use a dynamic mic like the Shure SM57, positioned close to the speaker cabinet. If you have a condenser mic, try placing it a few feet back. You could actually use multiple mics and blend them together during the mixing process. For recording acoustic guitar, a small cardio condenser mic is a good start. Try placing the mic at the 12th fret, around 6 to 8 inches away. Ribbon mics could actually work really nice with acoustic guitars as well. So just go ahead and experiment and have fun with different mics and mic placements. For recording vocals, you want to use a large diaphragm condenser mic. For a lead vocal, you want to match the mic with the vocalist, who might actually have a personal preference. It's always a good idea to have a few mics ready. Record a few takes and then invite the singer to listen and decide which mic sounds best. For recording piano, use two large diaphragm condenser mics, or use a large diaphragm for the low strings and a small diaphragm for the high. Mic placement for piano is highly variable, so a certain amount of experimentation is in order. There's also piano mic kits that take the guesswork out of mic choice and mic placement. Alright guys, that's all the information that I have for you today, but of course it's up to you to put this knowledge to use. Now don't forget to jump back into your Recording Connection workbook and just double check to see if you have any mandatory supplemental reading assignments to turn in for this week. Now if you feel shaky on any of this material, what you need to do is go back into your provided textbook and reread that material. Just remember that these videos are only a supplement to your education. Okay? Now if you're watching this video online and you want to know more about the recording process, uh, and you want to learn how to become a recording engineer in just six months, what you need to do is you need to check out the recordingconnection.com or call the provided number. Our staff is actually going to set you up with an engineer in your town or in a town near you. We have tons of locations all across the U.S. and parts of Canada, and we're actually really proud to say that we have more than a 72% hiring success rate thanks to our student advisor that comes with your enrollment. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys a little bit later.